Osaka Fed. Hi, I'm Roma and welcome to my kitchen. Today I will be making a red lentil soup. If you want to see how I make this recipe, keep watching. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Now let's get cooking. These are all the ingredients that you're going to need for your soup. Amounts will be in the description bar below. We have an assortment of vegetables, some chicken thighs, and they have been marinated in my everything seasoning. We have some flour and cornmeal, and we are going to use that to make some dumplings. Some vegetable pasta, red lentils, our seasoning. I have some Maggi, some chicken bouillon, and some saison. So I have the red lentils, I'm just going to wash them, so we get started. That's it, so I'm just going to wash these out really well. You see all that starch that's coming out? I'm going to get rid of that. Look at that. I'm going to wash it a few times until the water runs clear. Next step, going over to my stove. I'm going to add this to the pot. Now when you add water in the beginning, you don't want to add too much because you want it to get boiling. And you can add later, depends how much soup you're going to make. Then you can keep adding. We're going to turn this on. And I'm just going to bring this to a boil. And then I will turn it down and let it simmer. In the meantime, I will cut my vegetables and get everything else ready. Red lentils cook really fast, so it's that's why I like making this soup. It's not doesn't take long. It's something if you're in a hurry and you feel like soup, about an hour, two hours, it should be done. I'm gonna put some butternut squash in there. I'll probably just use two pieces. I don't think I need that much. I don't want it too sweet, so with the carrots and the butternut squash, it could get a little sweet. Okay, well that's going back in here. Look at that. That's gonna be a really pretty soup. I just had a boil over. And that's what can happen if you cover peas and you're not attending to it. So see what happens when you cover it. It starts foaming up. See that? So you wanna keep it open. And I'm gonna get a spoon and spoon all that white stuff off of it. And that's with usually with split peas, with this kind of um, lentils, you get that. You just have to keep an eye on it. Now I can turn it down low and clean up the mess that I made. <laughs> oh, okay, so while this thing is, um, I'm waiting for my water to start boiling, I'm just gonna prepare my dumpling cornmeal and flour together and then I'm going to add a little bit of salt to that not too much because it's going to get the salt from the food anyways the soup water so just a little bit of salt and mix that up and then I'm going to add water to it and just knead it I love making soups it's one of my favorite things to cook. Uh, you know, they just so simple. It's just pretty much you just add whatever you like into them. And it's so great when it's like so cold outside, you know, and I'm trying to catch some, put some in here before the 
like the weather is starting to warm up so pretty soon I won't be able to have my soups the dough is ready I'm just gonna set it aside let it sit until I'm ready for it see the peas are cooked now this is going as it's cooking longer it's going to pretty much dissolve and just like thicken at this stage I can put my vegetables in I can just put everything in now so I'll turn it up so it can boil so we just put everything in also I now I can add more water to it and this yeah I don't want to put it too full because it could boil over so this should be fine cover this bring it to a boil and then I will add the rest of my stuff like the seasoning and the chicken so we're just going to turn it up and let it come to a boil and with this what you want to do is just leave it open now don't cover it because the peas is going to boil over but you have more liquid now so it's closer to the surface so it's gonna boil over even faster so just leave it like that now I'm going to add everything else except my my pasta so we're gonna put the chicken and I have some chicken thighs seasoned in my everything seasoning and you don't have to put it you can use whatever seasoning you like but I make this one it's a uh, combination of um, green seasoning and onions garlic uh, red pepper salt and uh, vinegar and oil looks like my pot might be a little crowded but we'll let it boil down and see because I still have to put my dumpling now I'm just gonna put this little pack I'll put a teaspoon, full teaspoon to start and this you you add to taste let's put a little bit more maybe two so we get the stock Maggie cubes these are big ones so it's a lot of soup so I'm gonna put two and I'm not putting any salt because the seasoning have a lot of salt in them so we will see once it's done I'll give it a taste test and see how much I need just gonna take this like that now I could do this on a cutting board as well but it's okay I don't need to go through all that I can just do it right here we're just gonna roll this I love dumplings the soup and just cut them oh, pieces see like that you can just drop them in just let that cook down I'm gonna try put in the lid again so oh, this is gonna boil for half an hour because we want the peas to melt I'm just going to let it sit there and simmer I'll turn it down once it uh, starts really boiling up little fancy pasta here <laughs> these are I just found these in the supermarket I guess it's Easter time now and I found these little um, they say Easter pasta so they actually made with uh, beets and uh, spinach, I guess, and carrots. It just looks so pretty. So I'm going to put it in my soup. Our soup is cooked. But last minute, I'm going to add this little pasta that I talked about before. My 
go fine. And I'm just gonna let it cook until the pasta is done. That looks so good, smells good. It's done now, and that only took two hours. So it's a quick, easy meal. Okay, I'm gonna try the soup. That's good. That's really good. The seasoning is perfect. And the chicken thighs is so moist, delicious. And there you have it guys, our delicious red lentil soup. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, have a blessed day.